happy Monday. My day is starting out not very good. Um, my nest stopped working. Um, I got my son to school on time today with a couple minutes to spare and for some reason there was no one to let him in the doors and I had to check him in and he got marked tardy. Don't know how that happens. Also, like everything else in my life is kind of just crumbling. I have no time to get anything done. My house is a mess. And it's just, it is what it is. And people are always like, Gabby, you complain so much. Just be thankful, be happy, be grateful. I am happy, thankful, and grateful, but at the same time, my life is a shit show. So we're just kind of doing, we're doing a thing. Selma's watching like a Baby Shark video on YouTube right now on the iPad. Um, I just cleaned some of the kitchen, uh, swept, vacuumed, getting the thing, just getting things done as much as I can before she has another meltdown. Yeah, you hear me talking about you? Do you want to say hi? <laughs> you want to say hi? Say hey. Say I'm a ha I'm a sassy mama. Say I'm a sassy girl. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we're gonna kind of do a vlog today. Um, pretty much we're gonna be hanging out around the house. Cody left with my ID, my debit card, my other debit card, all of my money, any of my sources of uh, material monies. He has. Ah! I also don't have any cash. So. Oh, and Zelma's out of diapers. It's it's a fantastic time. Like, she has one left. Let's hope she doesn't uh, blow out two times because we only have one diaper left. And she's trying to get a boob. Th see, things are just, they're going very well for me today. Very well. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to pick Jalen up from school. I literally look how I feel like shit. Um, yeah, today's just not been my day. I I talked about this in one of my like previous vlogs where I made an appointment with Ideal Image and to get cool sculpting done. And then I decided I didn't want to do it anymore. So I you know tried to cancel it and they were like, sorry, no refunds, even though I put like a large amount of money down. And um even if I don't get the services done, they won't refund it, even though my appointment's not for another month. So I'm like trying to talk to them and trying to work with them um, with all of that. The sales representative was like so nice during the consultation, but now she's being like super passive aggressive with me and like kind of like really rude over email. And the thing that sucks the most about it is that like, who do I call? Like I can't call Ideal Image. They like tell you to go through your sales rep and like my sales rep sucks. So it's like, ah, and I was ma I made a TikTok about it, and a whole bunch of people were saying that they've had like really horrible experiences also with Ideal Image. So yeah, it's just like love that for me, love that for me, love that. So I made it to jail in school. Okay, so let me just say something. So recently, there's been like a lot of stuff going on in my personal life, and if you've noticed my content on TikTok kind of changing. Um, I've had to like filter a lot of the things that I say like that I've been saying or that I say usually I'm just like an open book. I just say how I feel and um, You know, I don't really give it any thought like I've, I've always been like a really open person But a lot of my TikToks have been being used against me in my personal life and people are watching my social media Which is as to be expected. I mean like you know, I, I get it. I have two million followers. I post my life on social media. Um, people watch my stuff. It's it's. I'm not posting anything that is private. Um, and you know, anybody can watch it. But people in my personal life are trying to hold videos against me, and it's really made me rethink every bit of content that I've been posting recently. So like before I even post a video, I'm like, did I say anything that you know could be used against me? And it's not that it's like stuff that's offensive or you know things that are are bad or anything like that It's just people in my personal life are taking things that I'm saying and like twisting them in a way and Trying to make me look like I'm a bad person and make me feel like total crap about myself um, And it's been really it's been really rough on me recently like just like kind of you know mentally like just overthinking everything thinking about content that I've put out that I just I can't you know, I I'm not ever embarrassed of anything that I post on the internet I am I'm kind of a quirky person I'm kind of just you know like a hot mess all the time and that's how I kind of blew up in a sense on TikTok, and I don't want to change that at all But I don't know I think I just need to like reevaluate myself and kind of take a step back not from social media just like a step back in general and think just about things in life in general just like things have just been so 
crazy for me with all these opportunities that are coming up. I fly to California in literally like 10 days. Um, I have nothing prepared, nothing prepared for this business trip. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm so overwhelmed and then you throw in stuff from my personal life into things that I'm doing for companies, things that I'm doing for businesses, things that I'm doing when I'm recruiting. It's just like, it's just so much. Um, and I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. Um, there's just been a lot going on. I, I just, yeah. So Aaron sent all these little resin keychains. Um, they're so cute. Hold on. There's like these little guns. Look, oh, these little resin guns. She sent me two, one was Cody's and one was mine. Cody's was black. And she also sent me all these little keychains, like E for Egan. She sent another E for Elijah that's on his backpack. And then she sent an M for McKinley, a Z for Zelma, a J for Jalen that's on his backpack, and a G for me. And she also sent um, this cute little hair beret, but my stepdaughter already stole it. Um, and yeah, so I have some other things that are at my house that I need to film, but I'm going to my PO, PO box. I'm going to my PO box after I pick Jalen up. I'm in the parent pickup line now. Um, and I'm gonna see what's in there, if there is anything in there, and then go ahead and open it up on my YouTube so that I can do a little unboxing for you guys. So we just got back home. I almost knocked myself out. Um, and we went to the PO box and there indeed was stuff in the PO box. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing. This is the stuff right here. And we're gonna do that and have some fun. Oh, yay, my tripod is a paper towel holder. No, paper towel roll. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the first package is from Strictly Stabby. And we're gonna open it up. Oh, Bubby. I think it's a croc keychain. Hold on, let me take this out. Yeah, and a little kitty cat stabby keychain. Oh my gosh. I will obviously link all the small businesses down below. Zama's like, give me some, give me something. I'll give you a business card, here you go. Take that to Bubby. Um, <laughs> Make sure you give it back, because I need that. <laughs> but um, look at this cute little teeny tiny cat little stabby keychain. <gasps> Isn't that adorable? Look at it. And then the croc, oh my gosh. I absolutely love this. Oh, it's swirl. Okay, so this next package is from Mexican Craves. Um, it sounds like candy, it sounds like tahine, it sounds like that kind of thing going on and if that's the case Bubby I know and if that's the case then I can't open it fast enough <gasps> what the heck what in the world I mean so many goodies like chips oh my gosh this takes me back to like AIT like Spoons full of goodness. I know that's gonna taste good. Candy, like these little. What? Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have to make a TikTok about this. This is immaculate. Literally, so many Mexican candies. I'll link them down below. I'm just. I'm. T I know you want some candy. You have to wait for this one though. Okay. Okay. So next package we have is from Lavelle. Beauty, it's in a cute little box. And get my keys so I can open it. Sorry for like the loud noise, like we know it's mom life over here, so. You should be, you shouldn't be expecting it. Ugh. Why can't I open it? It's cause I didn't open it all the way. Okay, I think I almost got it. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. This is, Snazzy, I just dropped a business card. Hi, Gabby, love all your TikToks. You literally make if you constantly make my day and I wanted to give you a whipped body buzzer and lashes for my business. Oh, she's so sweet. Look how cute. Okay, now we open. She gave me like an eye cooling mask and a lip mask, I guess. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, look. 
Look how adorable. I think that th oh, these are literally little lash appliers that have like her name on it and a little spoolie and this whipped body butter looks great. Oh my gosh, hot cocoa. I can't wait, hold on. Dude, what the heck? It literally smells like hot chocolate. Wait, I don't wanna ruin it because it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, dude, this is so nice. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. That body, that body butter, this one literally makes you smell like a hot cocoa bomb. And not only that, it leaves your skin like um, glittery, like spark, not glittery, but like glistening. You can't really tell, but it's like, it's glowing. Your girl is glowing. Also this cute little pink spoolie. And um, look at this lash box. Do you see this? It's like a little perfume case. These lashes are lit. They're so pretty. What? I can't even. Literally, thank you so much. Um, this is so, like, I get overwhelmed every time I do unboxing videos. Thank you so much. Everyone will be tagged down below, like I said. So I recently did a collab with the Sunshine Sisters. We did a giveaway. Um, they gave away a whole entire, like, family. What? They gave away a whole entire family like um, thing. Like, oh, why can't I speak? They gave away like hoodies and t-shirts for a whole entire family. And they told me that they were going to send me some more goodies. So I guess that this is what it is. I absolutely adore the Sunshine Sisters so much. So this is so exciting. <gasps> I haven't seen this one yet. It says mom hustle. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. You wanna hold it? Yeah, you can hold it. Oh, and they also sent me this shirt. I was like, I love that shirt. Look. Oh! It says be kind. It's like the quarter sleeve type of shirt, so it's not like all the way along sleeve, it's like a quarter sleeve. Oh, and there's a note. And there's stickers. Look at all the stickers. Wait, stickers? Yeah, stickers. Oh, it's my you can have some. And they also sent me a note that says, Hi Gabby, thank you so much for doing the giveaway with us. We love seeing you post. Oh, I love you. I love you guys, thank you so much. And last but certainly not least, this is from Southern Fried Yankee. Um, I love that name, not sure what it is, but it sounds amazing. Southern Fried Yankee, I love fried things, I love Yankee um, candles. I don't really know much about the team, the baseball team, but. <gasps> oh my goodness. It's, a, it's another car air freshener that's shaped like a bear and it says mama on it. I have one of these in my car right now that has, a, it's a cow, it's shaped like a cow with a little sunflower bow. It is so cute. These things smell so good and they last for so long. Like the one that I had in my car before that was like a vanilla one, it still smells good and it's still in my car. Um, these are literally awesome. I'm gonna link. I don't know if she has a shop. Do you have a shop? Honeysuckle Jasmine, I love it. Thank you so much to everyone who sent something. Literally like, I love you guys so much and I always get like overwhelmed. So I just made a TikTok about all the candy that I got in that Mexican crate box, craves, Mexican craves box. This is a corn stick. Um, it literally, it's so spicy. It's so good though. Um, uh, this spoon, I don't know what's on it, but. Slap my ass and call me Sally. It's good, it's good. Mm. What is this? Who knows? It tastes delicious. Hello, so it's 5.30. I just took a shower. Um, Jalen, thanks to Jalen. Jalen helped me watch the baby while I showered. Shout out to you. Um, and now I'm, Cody's still at work. I am waiting on him to get home with some diapers for Zelma. And then we're probably gonna figure out dinner. I don't know, I'm gonna clean up some more around the house do some dishes, stuff like that, so yeah. 
So I have been cleaning on and off all day. I can say that if you have kids and pets, this is like one of the best, like the unstoppable is fabric spray. I spray this on my carpets like before I vacuum or anything like that and it makes everything smell so for like refreshed. Um, I'm gonna make a list of, I've been literally cleaning all day and like still haven't been able to like get everything done but I guess that's the perks of having kids. I'm gonna get a piece of paper. I feel like whenever I make lists that are like, um, you know, that I'm actually writing stuff down, I can visually look at it. Phone lists just aren't the same for me, so I got a piece of paper. I'm about to go make a list of like all the things that I need to accomplish, um, all the things that I have coming up, and like a packing list that I need to get together for California, a list of things for like, I need to make a list for Cody whenever I leave, because this is the first time I'm leaving the baby with him and I'm freaking out. So, just like a bunch of stuff, I'm about to make a list. That was a lot of things to say, just to say that I'm making a list, but I'm stressed. I totally forgot that I have an entire planner that I got at Five Below, like at the beginning of the year, or actually like the end of last year. And I haven't filled it out for a month. Uh, maybe that's why my life is so off track right now. Probably not just the planner, it's because of everything in general. But um, I started making my list. Um, and look at my pretty pin. Someone sent this to me, it's so cute. So yeah, so I'm gonna start filling my planner out, everything I gotta do. Look at my cute planner. Look at my cute planner. Five dollars. Five dollars. Um, so yeah, it, it, and then keep on keeping on. So it's currently 6.43. Jalen's cleaning his room. Zelma's harassing him. Uh, I'm cleaning the living room still. We were cleaning Jalen's room, and then we found throw up in Elijah's blanket. Love that. I'm washing my sheets right now for my room, and there's cat puke in this blanket. <laughs> It's that shit or puke. Oh, it's a shit or puke. It smells so bad. It smells like shit. <gasps> so I just made the call to just bag it up and throw it out um, because it literally smells horrendous and I don't know if the washing machine would be able to fix it. So I had to put, what? I had to add a new bedspread for Elijah on my list. You got some trash. You give it to mommy. Oh, you dropped it. Thank you for trying. So I just took my house, I did, well I did the dishes. I did the dishes and then I took my house plant down that usually chills out in front of my window and it was super dry. And I watered it, I'm gonna let it sit there overnight. Uh, clean up the counters, Cody's still at the grocery store. We, oh, he's going grocery shopping, like a big grocery trip because we really need one. And I ordered dinner so that we don't have to cook tonight. And then starting tomorrow we're gonna start like meal planning and like, uh, trying to just eat from home more just because it's healthier and stop spending crazy money on takeout type of thing um, So yeah, that's that's how my night's going. I think I'm, this is where I'm gonna end the vlog the food's gonna be here soon um, we're gonna unload groceries get the kids to the bath and then Go to bed. Hopefully. Hopefully it's that easy. Um, but anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you're still here, love you so much. And I will see you next time. Bye! Oh, and just to top off how shitty this Monday is, I ordered fajitas, chicken fajitas. Um, they didn't send the actual, like, fajita wraps. So yeah. Bye. See you later.